In 2001, the California legislature mandated that all licensed physicians, practicing clinicians, had to take a mandated 12 hours of continuing medical education in uh, addressing pain management. And uh, much of the focus is that we were under-recognizing pain and under-utilizing many pain medicines to build up the use of those compounds and recognize uh, pain. I think the unintended consequences, because I trained in medical school in the late 80s to early 90s, and then did residency in the early 90s. I was taught opiates are way overprescribed, avoid them, only last resort would you use them, post-operative pain management, not really having much of a role, say, in chronic pain management. However, the CME course that I was mandated to take and others had to take many different courses, which were not mandated by, say, the medical boards or the medical specialties or the societies. It was mandated by the legislature. And it came about that every physician practicing in California, treating patients, had to have 12 hours in pain management. And the focus then in 2001, we were under-recognizing pain and under-treating it. And look where we are 19 years later. Uh, the opioid epidemic has changed a lot of ways that I prescribe and my colleagues actually prescribe. I don't give opioids. I, I, it's not in my scope of practice to do so. If I have a patient with whose pain issues and thinks it may benefit or have some issues, I refer on. I'm not an addiction psychiatrist. I don't practice that. I don't practice pain uh, with it. But how it has changed is now for any controlled substance in California, I have to log in and check a system called Cures in order to prescribe a controlled substance, be it even Schedule Four, like a benzodiazepine or other agent. I have to log in, check to make sure the patient's not on an opiate or anything else. So it's led to uh, more regulation and understanding of not just the opioids themselves, but all controlled substances, at least in California that we have to monitor for all controlled substances, even things that might be Schedule IV uh, that may interact with an opiate or have any sort of scheduling by the FDA. Fortunately, uh, we have expanded training. There are new programs being started almost every day now in addiction medicine. It's a newly recognized specialty by the American uh, Council of Graduate Medical Education, the ACGME. So we're training more doctors specialized in addiction. Fortunately now, the field of psychiatry has never been more popular for medical students to go into a field to study psychiatry. Uh, I believe that underlying many addictive disorders is an underlying psychiatric condition that needs to be adequately treated. We're adding new medical schools. We're training more doctors. We understand that uh, we need to train more physicians as our population grows and our population gets older. And fortunately, we need to catch up, but we are treating more doctors specializing in mental health and addiction issues.